what is the genesis of the idea for an entrepreneur? How is that um, spark of an idea? and When did it happen for them? So I started with a consulting firm. And the way it works was um, I had the background in computer science. I was technical. I could write software. So I started asking people around myself who um, had the project to offer me. I had an idea that digital mar marketing was picking up that time. In 2010, I'm talking about Facebook was super big, Twitter was great, everybody was saying digital marketing is great, but we don't know how to measure it. Whether there is any point putting dollars in it because there's no ROI or can anybody even measure it. Uh, so it was not my domain. It was not the area where I was working in, but I just thought it was super hot, so maybe I should think about it. So Women Startup Lab started as a meetup, as I mentioned. Uh, but when I started, what I realized was not only female entrepreneurs saying, yeah, I want to be part of it, I want to help out, uh, I want to meet other people, but it was the amount of the advisor who was raising a hand and said, I want to come speak, I want to make a difference. If the idea is so simple that anyone around you will take advantage and build it before you, let them build it. Uh, because if they don't, someone else would, if, if it's that easy to build. As I was running my own startup, I came to this realization that a lot of things wasn't uh, brought up, the woman's idea wasn't taken seriously. The first role and responsibility um, when you sign that contract is to bring more women and to inspire more women to take on leadership positions with within the organization and one that makes it a much richer organization because you can do more with more people. And if you are a first time founder, it's very, very hard for someone to believe in you and say that you can build an enterprise software or an enterprise platform. When you look at women entrepreneur, they have a higher return of investment, a 30% higher female entrepreneur, but they tended to be single founders. So my question was just because some of the prominent people in the industry said, Hey, I, I'm not going to invest in any company until they have co-founder. But when you look at the data, I question, does it really have to have co-founder? Looking back, what one or two advice would you give your younger, more inexperienced self? I would tell myself to step up faster. Um, I think that if you're willing to step up and be a leader, and this is really, really um, uncomfortable, especially for women to do, but to, if you're willing to step up and call yourself a leader and be in the light at some time and take, you, you, you're able to take people with you and you're able to accomplish so much, so much faster.